Intel Xeon E3 1200 processors center on the same Sandy Bridge architecture introduced earlier this year. They succeed the company's Xeon 3000 series chips, which drop into single socket servers and workstations. Naturally, the technologies we explored in our Sandy Bridge coverage apply here as well. Second generation Turbo Boost technology allows these CPUs to spend more time accelerated, up until they reach their defined thermal limits. As we saw on the desktop, Intel's mature 32 nanometer manufacturing node makes it possible for the newest Xeons to run up to 400 megahertz faster than their stock frequencies with a single core active. Almost all the models being introduced include hyperthreading as well, presenting each physical core as a pair of logical processors to the operating system. This feature is frankly more desirable in the server and workstation space than the desktop given the paralyzed workloads common to SMBs. Of the models being introduced, five are retail server chips and four are intended for workstation specific. They all feature four physical cores and most can operate on eight threads via hyperthreading. The workstation parts employ what Intel is calling a professional version of its HD graphics engine, designated P3000, which includes a driver optimized for business apps rather than games. Of course, the intention there is to replace discrete graphics. Naturally, this could be viable on entry-level workstations, though power users should stick to an add-in board. All Xeon E3-1200s include demand-based switching, similar to SpeedStep, hardware acceleration of AES encryption and decryption, and specific optimizations for virtualization. The Xeons share those capabilities with Intel's desktop chips, so they don't really count as differentiators. There are reasons to go with a Xeon E3-1200 over a desktop Core i5 or Core i7 in your workstation or server. The Xeon's integrated controller enables more PCI Express connectivity for peripherals pushing lots of data throughput. Platforms supporting Xeon accommodate a special management module, enabling remote KVM and out-of-band control. And there's the special workstation graphics driver, optimized for professional graphic apps, too.